Yes, sir. Say, man, we back on this WWE 2K22, bro. And y'all already see what we about to hop into. If you don't, let me just go ahead and move real quick. You see what we about to hop into, man? We about to hop into this My Rise. I told you this is one of the first things we're going to do, and I wasn't playing. <laughs> I wasn't playing. Now we're gonna hop into my faction. We're gonna hop and showcase. I can't. I can't. I can't say I'm gonna hop into my gym. I might dab a little bit. I have to get my, you know, understanding of how my gym work. We might hop into my gym. You know, try to get a little content on it. But I ain't that fond of that. We're gonna hop into some universe mode. But the thing we're gonna start with is my rise. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get this thing popping. Let's go. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's going to be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out, Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when? I become a WWE superstar. Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Alright, bro. We finally done made it to the WWE, bro. Now, this is my character, Jaden. I did not do nothing too crazy with him. His, his attire is something simple. Uh, it still took me a minute to even create this dude. I don't know why it took so long, but... I went with like a little simple attire, you feel me? Also, the moves that I got, they gave to me. I will go and change them as we go through uh, because they give me a lot more freedom than they did in uh, 19. So we're going to slowly progress and get more and more things as our career keeps going, you feel me? He's going to keep changing and changing. Right now, he has no tattoos. We will get them later. Uh, but right now, he just came from the Indies. He ain't got too much money. He's not too flashy. But he gonna get the job done, if you get what I'm saying. You feel me? But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. 
Uh, bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't want your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's gonna be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, on a big stage, packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. And I'm well aware of who you are. I've watched a lot of your matches online. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Wait, you didn't have family in the business, did you? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there weren't enough moonsaults or super kicks. So as soon as I was old enough, I started wrestling. I'm jealous you were able to get going so early. It's a blessing and a curse. You trained at Booker T School? What was that like? Booker's great. He gave me the foundation I needed to make it on the indies, but it was time to take the next step, and that meant coming here. He put in a word for me, and luckily WWE liked what they saw. Must be nice to have that kind of support. It is, but I don't want anyone to think I only got here because of him. I'm going to prove that I earned this. All right, man. Good luck. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. I'm a big fan of yours, too. How? I've never even had a televised match before. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to be polite. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. I'm relatively new to all this, but you and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh yeah, the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. That was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. I had some help from Booker T getting my foot in the door. But just remember, neither one of us would be here if we weren't talented. True. Oh, before I forget, can you sign something for me today before you leave? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> See you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you've heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that.
But it's not your call, big shot. Okay. Now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right. New guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started. All right, man, our first official match, bro. Let's see how this go. I don't know what my moves are, but we will find out. Let's go. Now, uh, this right here is my boy, Jaden Johnson, Johnson, bro. Something a little different. Oh! Okay. Huh! Now, I gotta get used to these moves. Cause they said doing combos are way more better. Okay, X is the... Okay, so let me... Go ahead and try to figure this out. But, anywho. This is my dude, Jaden Johnson, man. We're gonna... Okay, one, two, three. So, what kind of combo? I gotta remember, uh, find out his combos, bro. I'm trying to play and talk at the same time. I'm having a hard time, fellas. Ugh! Yes, sir. Huh, huh, huh. Hey, boy, I'm putting a pause on this boy, Jay. We talking all this trash, talking about you don't know who I am and all this and getting dropped off. But let me go ahead and try to do this. Oh! Okay, good one. Huh. Okay, reverse. I already know about reversals. I did the tutorial. Come on. Okay, so it's going to be hard to do some grapples. Huh. Yes, sir. You know we had to turn that blood on. <laughs> oh, I got to change up his moves. But I haven't did any moves. I got set moves that they had gave me. Um, I haven't did too much. His, his fit and everything is going to be generic right now. I decided to just go with something just normal off the rip. Let's go. So when you see him, he just came from the Indies. He don't have a lot of money. Or none of, oh, throw him. So I kind of want to have like a story to go with him. If they allow me to, uh... ah, bruh. Oh, let's go. Huh. One, one, two, three, grab. That didn't work. Let's go. Reverse. Now I'm supposed to be able to do a, a signature, right? Two, three. Let's go. Charge finisher. No, I don't want to do the finisher. I want my signature. So they're only going to let me do my finisher? Oh, get up. Oh, get up off me. Oh, no, it was X. Okay. Messed that up. All right, we got to get up now. Get up. Huh. Charge it. Let's go. But uh, like I said, he's, he's from the Indies. We're going to take everything very slow. Huh. Count, Ralph. It easy. We're gonna upgrade him as things go progress. He's gonna. I'm gonna start. We're gonna start putting like uh, different fits on him, uh, tats, whatever. We're gonna keep upgrading him, upgrading him, upgrading from when he come from the Indies to being big time in the WWE, man. Uh, but let's go ahead. Count it up, bro. Two, three. Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not going to give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Hmm. The old, I wasn't trying excuse. Classic. Haven't heard that one since fourth grade when I beat J.B. Fultz in a push-up contest. You know what? It's not a great look on a grown man. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Funny. That's the same thing J.B. said back in the day, and guess what? 
I beat him again. So let me know when you're done with the excuses and you're ready to start trying, JB. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and end it off right there, bro. That's the beginning of our journey. Hope that y'all are enjoying it so far. Now, if you don't know my type of content, bro, I do. Not, I keep everything strictly story. You know, so y'all won't see the little side things and all that. If you want to see some extra or some behind the scenes stuff or whatever, let me know and I try to add more into it if y'all do want to see some stuff like that. But I try to keep the story mode about the story as much as possible. You feel me? But that's the, pretty much the end of this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Really appreciate it. And I get it, y'all, in the next video, man.